full and bloom interview with producer Tom Warman. You can listen to more interviews and excerpts with Tom at fullandbloom.com. Click the links in the description. What about Rush? Is there any story to Rush when they hit your radar? Yeah, um, I heard a demo and I went up to Toronto to see them. And they were, um, the, 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 the manager picked me up, uh, Ray Daniels. I think he managed, I think he managed Van Halen later. I'm not, I, I can't remember. He he managed somebody big, very big, um, and Rush. And he um, picked me up. We went out to dinner, drove up to this high school in, um, in a Toronto suburb. And the um, band was playing in the auditorium, and they were incredible. And I went backstage, and I said, you guys are incredible. I, this is a kind of a an art. It was very artsy. You know, it wasn't your standard rock and roll. Um, and and I, I, I thought this would be really a great signing for me because it's high class, and it's different. And so I went back and I said, we got to sign this band. I had already signed Ted and Cheap Trick. So I had, you know, I, I had credentials. It was okay. And, and nobody had to listen to them. So they just said, you want to sign them? Okay, we'll sign them. So Business Affairs takes over at that point to make the deal. And that's what usually happens. And the band wanted $75,000 advance for a two album deal. Um, you know, today it's pennies. Anyway, Business Affairs said, that's, that's outside of our guidelines. We can't do it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and I, uh, uh, again, I, I just didn't, I didn't pound the table and say, you've got to sign this band. And even so, back then, was 75 for two albums considered a lot of money for any yeah. band? Yeah. Okay. It was in the 70s. Yeah, I, I think that was a lot of money. Sure, we, I mean, we made albums for thirty thousand dollars back then, uh, you know, and and they wanted a seventy-five thousand dollar advance, and the label still had to pay for the recordings. So I don't know. Yeah, that's a, I didn't have anything to do with business affairs. They just uh, they just passed. Wow. They said no, can't do it. So Mercury signed them. Cliff Bernstein. So he was a A and R Mercury then, you know. He, you know, uh, Cliff uh, is uh, Metallica's, right? Yeah, yeah. Def Leppard. Right, right, right. He was good. Cliff was good. 